<clears throat> here's the uh, manual for the precise model 630 signal generator Servicemen everywhere acclaim precise tops in the field. The construction of an instrument of, from its kit form is, an, is as important as any of the major components used within the instrument. Realizing this, the, the precise development core used extreme care in the pre preparation of this construction book with such innovations as two color pictorials and photographs plus schematic di diagrams. Soldering. Excessive heat will adversely affect parts by causing them to either change value, lose their protective coating, or actually break down. To avoid this, hold the tip of a pair of long nose pliers on the lead between the part and the junction that is being soldered. The pliers will conduct a sufficient amount of heat away to prevent damage. There's the uh, tuning capacitor uh, assembly. Here's the schematic at the back. Okay, let's take a look now at the inside of the generator.
Here is the radio frequency dial drum. Someone has handwritten some numbers at the top. Big um, wafer switch, I get. Uh, I think they call them, with uh, some coils. There, there's the six AU six tube, I believe. Inside this little um, box, there's the six C four miniature tube hidden in there. Okay. Here's the um, 6X5. Rectifier tube. Nice and dirty. There it is. And, and behind there is the 6SN7 tube and that uh, is likely the main um, electrolytic capacitor with a nice clamp holding it in A real nice big power transformer in there. Nice to see that. Some nice uh, old good all paper wax paper capacitors. <clears throat> this big lamp here is, I believe, connected to the cathode of the 6AU6 uh, six six tube, which is kind of interesting. And there is also an, an adjustable potentiometer right here. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Proper alignment, I guess. I don't know.
Here's the transformer seems to be okay. 